Hi everyone, Ben here, back with another video. Today's video I'm at Kettleston Hall and I'm going to try and give you a tour of Kettleston Hall like never seen before in my own personal perspective of it and there's so much to look at so please stay tuned for the video. Hope you enjoy it. On our way up the short walk guys to find the Hermitage which is a tiny little house um, which a hermit used to pretend, potentially live in, I don't think it's true, but there's the gateway, start of the short walk. So we have a choice, do we go this way or this way? Well, if you can see in the background, the Hermitage House is coming to view. This has been recently renovated, meaning not modern renovation, mo renovation to make it look better to the eye. And they've done a very, very good job of it. Thatch roof very very old door I think you can go in it at some point but not not today unfortunately but look at that little thing you've got to admit that's cool guys look at the uh, windows as well I don't think we can see in it it's got that weird glare to it but pretty cool nevertheless wouldn't you just love to have your lunch sitting on that bench looking out over the beautiful Derbyshire countryside let's frame it so look what I've just found hole hole where's the other one hole this is a massive badger set a huge one and the holes are so flipping big it's ridiculous like you could fit a lamb down there, if not something bigger. Crazy, crazy. So, I used to volunteer at uh, Kettleston Hall as a National Trust member as well. And I heard a lot of stories about this uh, orangery. First of all, I don't think it's ever been used. And the reason is, is they built it facing the wrong way. So the sun is not actually going to be hitting it at the right time of day, if at all. So I think in the lot, like they've got some very big plans to move it, brick by brick. Um, so yeah, just a little bit of a uh, history. So the main reason why I'm here, guys, is that look at that stunning building. Never get tired of looking at it. Each time I visit, it's always quite breathtaking to. Uh, see that we still have things like this in our country after uh, a lot of them got destroyed I'm glad the National Trust is holding on to them gonna see if I can get into the church guys there's a lot of history to look around in there but I'm not gonna get any names or plaques or anything just looking at the uh, general history of it so here we go it is open Got these big golden things it's all caged off to protect which is nice to see oh a little bit eerie in here that golden eagle wow my voice is echoing around here <laughs> uh, the book all the lights pinging through the windows beautiful <clears throat> And then there's the look back down it. That's pretty cool. So I've just come from the bridge to have a look at this old boathouse, which is pretty spectacular. Even the uh, boathouse has got artwork, and they didn't like think, ah, nobody's going to see it much, so let's just make it cheap and boring. They still made it look like that. Crazy money. Worth it though, I think. So that's where I end the video with you guys. What a view to end it. I really hope you enjoyed this one. Please do hit like, subscribe and notifications on. And if you want to share it around, that helps me massively as well. Besides that guys, have a good day. See you soon. Yeah!